When telling the story of St. Louis, the statues that line the streets, they paint a pretty clear picture. Sports heroes like Bob Gibson, music legends like Chuck Berry, but perhaps no figure means more to the fabric of this community than Frankie Muse Freeman, the iconic civil rights leader, died Friday at the age of 101. Freeman leaves behind a legacy that will live on here in the city of St. Louis and across the country. Five on your side's Ray Strickland tells us the story of a selfless and brave woman who continued to fight for others until the day she died. Her presence is still very much here. Walking into the room dedicated to the late civil rights pioneer Frankie Muse Freeman, Deborah Ahmed reflects on their days together. Uh, I even danced with her last year right here in this building. Frankie Freeman was a giant. She got so many honorary recognitions. Ahmed met Freeman many times. She was a force to be reckoned with. She became an inspiration to Ahmed like she has been for so many over the years. So much of the work that she did was to uplift her people. Freeman's work for the betterment of others started more than half a century ago. Her activism was nationwide, but it was a victory in St. Louis that made her a household name. She got things done. She did the work day to day, week to week in our community. She was the lead attorney in the landmark case Davis versus St. Louis Housing Authority. Freeman's victory in that case ended racial segregation in public housing in the city. Her work since then led to a statue that is now in downtown St. Louis's Keener Plaza and a star on the St. Louis Walk of Fame in the Del Mar Loop. She continued to fight even in her later days, you know, 80, 90. We got folks that get tired at 50 and 60. We lost a, a, a drum major for justice. Frankie Muse Freeman was a giant, a figure who was larger than life, but she was a very humble person too, putting many people before herself. And because of that, her legacy will live on and her spirit will remain alive. In downtown St. Louis, I'm Ray Strickland, five on your side. Freeman was also honored for being the first woman on the Civil Rights Commission. Her family has asked for privacy at this time, and her funeral arra arrangements will be announced sometime soon.